Hi there, Becky here from 168 Fitness. So over the past three weeks now, uh, I've been giving you my advice on how to achieve your September health, fitness and weight loss goals. So I'm back this week with the next step on uh, how to achieve those. Hopefully you've already started and uh, if you haven't, then it's never too late, of course. Um, we're working towards sort of medium term goals, maybe towards the end of the year. So there is still time and better late than never. But uh, go back to week one of my video blogs if you've not started already and find out how to get started. And then let's try and fast track uh, you into the program so that you can be achieving and feeling achieving your goals and feeling great um, sooner rather than later. But if you have got started already, then well done, because I can't stress enough how important it is to get started, but also how hard it is. And I understand that and I I appreciate your efforts. And I think you should feel really proud of yourself. You could have just watched this video or you could have even just turned this video off because you knew I was going to say you've got to do something that's probably quite hard for you. Um, and you didn't. You, did, you watched the video, you took on board what I was saying and you did it. So well done. Now we just need to keep it going, which I know is a challenge in itself as well. Um, but as I said right back at the beginning, the first step's always the hardest. So the fact you've done that first step then now we just need to keep going. And I promise you, it shouldn't get much harder than than that initial daunting sort of step of, of getting back into something or starting from new again. So um, so well done, but let's keep going. Um, so week, uh, well, it was week two, uh, but the first step was I, I always start with exercise. I obviously love exercise myself. Um, I'm a big believer in doing something active every day, um, not necessarily uh the the more the better obviously something is is better than nothing but um we don't need to be uh doing lots of of exercise in order to feel the benefits we just need to be doing something and we just need to be, be doing it consistently so if you've only got the time to do one exercise class or go to the gym once a week or go out for a run once a week then let's just be consistent with once a week every week and you'll be feeling good for that if we could make more time and we can we can schedule in some more exercise, doing it twice a week, fantastic. That's going to be the next step. So if you've already uh, been doing once a week, we've started off this week. I want you to up it a little bit doing two sessions a week. So sort of 20 to 30 minutes is great. We don't need, as I say, we don't need to be doing three hours in the gym. You don't need to be doing three classes back to back. I hear a lot of people doing that. And it's quite old fashioned, really. Like it's um, yeah, we now we now know that actually it doesn't you don't need to be doing loads to feel the benefit. In fact, you probably end up feeling probably worse off for doing it because it's not actually good quality. If you can do all my sessions, PT sessions are half an hour and the classes are sort of 30 to 45 minutes um, and that's good quality exercise. So you're working hard for that 30 minutes or as hard as you can manage for that 30 minutes because you know it is only 30 minutes if you think you've got to you've got to do something for three hours uh then you're not going to work as hard as you would for 30 minutes that just makes sense that's like if i'm if i'm doing a three hour run if i was training for a marathon i wouldn't run as fast as if i was running a 5k for 30 minutes or so or whatever um so it makes sense really that if we can good quality exercise that fits in with our lifestyle is going to be more useful and more sustainable um, for us going forward. So um, where did I get to? So yes, if you were doing sort of once a week already, um, let's try and build that up to sort of two times, maybe 30 minute uh, exercise sessions, whatever that is to you. So if it's going out for a walk, going out for a run, going for a swim cycle, going to the gym, fitness classes, PT sessions, whatever it is that you've opted to do whatever's going to help you achieve your goals and you're going to enjoy it as well that's what I'm all about enjoying exercise if you come along to one of my classes and you enjoy it I would always love you to sign up because if you enjoy it you're going to be more likely to keep it going and then obviously that's when when you keep stuff going when you're more consistent that's when you feel the benefits and that's when you get all the results so that's what I'm all about when I'm delivering my classes and my PT sessions is enjoying it and then you're going to feel better for doing it long term. 
Um, so yeah, so if you're up to doing sort of once a week at the moment, let's up it to two. If you were doing two times a week, let's try if you can and up it to three. Let's add something else in if it, you want to keep it a bit different. Maybe you're doing two classes and then maybe you can fit in a walk or a run at the weekend. Or maybe you're doing sort of um, one hit session. Maybe you could do some um, resistance training as the other one and then maybe some walking or running at the weekend or cycling swimming something like that something different variety is pretty good but you don't you don't have to I, I like to run a lot obviously I do do lots of bouncing as well and I do do plenty of water, walking but apart from that a bit of resistance training um, but yeah I, I like to run most days so it's not a problem to do the same thing over and over. It's just it is quite good to get variety and it'll keep you interested as well. So um, but what we're really talking about is just increasing your frequency a little bit more, because then um, when you're doing it sort of more often, sort of 20 to 30 minutes, sort of three times a week, you're going to get more benefits for doing it. So we don't need to be doing every day. We could be active every day. We could be doing some walking or something active recovery, but we don't need to be doing sort of fitness classes, gym sessions, PT sessions every day, um, because unless we've built up to that. But we can just be active in general. But if we can do sort of two to three exercise sessions a week, then that's going to be a great amount to, um, to, to see and feel the benefits of doing it um, and be on the right track. So that's what I want you to really focus on this week is you've made a great start already. Can we just up it a little bit more? Um, and so then we're, we're putting a bit more effort in, but we're also getting more return as well. If you feel like absolutely not, I don't get any time to myself, I can't make any more time, then that's fine. Let's just keep with what you're doing. But if we can up it a little bit, as well as keeping the food on track. So last week I was saying about starting my fitness pal food diary. Um, let's maybe keep that diary going or start to make some changes, which I'll go over next week. Um, but let's uh, get the exercise, dial it up a little bit if we feel like we can, and then you'll be feeling even more benefits and be fast tracking your results as well. So um, ask me any questions if you've got any, or just let me know how you're getting on. And I'd love to hear that. And I'll be back next week with some more top tips.